So today I'm going to make a gluten-free corn pasta that features corn. Corn is really getting delicious this time of year. It's in season for months and I'm obsessed with corn. So to get corn off the cob, I invert a small bowl inside a large bowl. It collects the corn as you scrape it. There's a lot of milk and sweet juice left in the cobs. Thus, the reason I was sitting in my high chair literally sucking on them. And we're going to put some of that into our stock. Same thing if I'm making corn and crab chowder or corn chowder, I throw the cobs right into the stock I'm making, in this case, the pasta cooking water. Get all of the corn flavor out of the corn uh, cob itself. So that is going to simmer for a couple of minutes while we're making our sauce to go with this. Then we're gonna drop our pasta into that very same water, cook the corn pasta in the corny water. It's a very corny dinner. <laughs> um, so we've got three large ears of corn. Just wipe away all of that great sweet liquid and the kernels. And then we're going to drop the kernels into a large skillet that has a tight fitting lid because we're gonna burst some tomatoes in our sauce. I have yellow tomatoes for this sauce. We're gonna start with the corn and let that start cooking up and developing its sugars. And now, for me, cooking is all about balance, of course. So if you're using something as sugary and sweet as corn, you wanna balance it with a little bit of heat. I have two chopped jalapeno peppers here that I'm adding. Then we're going to add mild onion, a big bunch of spring onions, or you could use young leeks, small leeks, or even scallions, mild onion flavor. Of course, I put garlic in everything. A little garlic goes in next. Couple of fat cloves and I'm gonna grate right into the pot. And I've got this over medium to medium high heat. Again, we're working just in EVOO or the olive oil. And I let these guys cook out for a few minutes together. Whoops, come back here, brother. Um, they're gonna hang out in the hot tub a few minutes on their own and get those sugars developing in the corn kernels while we're having our yellow cherry tomatoes. You can use red, of course. I just bought yellow to make the dish like beautiful and golden colored when it's done. Let these guys hang out. Now for the cherry tomatoes, this is a neat trick. Take two deli lids, fill them with your cherry tomatoes. Make sure your knife is good and sharp, cut straight across, and you cut a bunch of them at the same time. At the very end of this dish, we're gonna stir in a little mascarpone. We are adding our lemon zest to our sauce. I add the juice of the lemon at the very finish. It will bitter lemon juice to put it in too soon to our sauce. This is a corn, um, spring onion, garlic, of course, oh, and jalapeno for a little spice, little kick uh, sauce base that we've got cooking. We're gonna add in all of our burst yellow cherry tomatoes. This is gonna go about 10 minutes with a few leaves of torn basil. And then we're gonna finish by adding a few fat spoonfuls or about a quarter cup of that mascarpone cheese right before we serve. Now we're adding in about a quarter cup of mascarpone cheese. This smells so good. Crazy! I can't even believe this is legal. <laughs> it's so delicious. I added the zest of our lemon, don't forget. Here's our perfectly undercooked corn pasta and we dump all the pasta in with all of the sauce because we want it to all taste good. Nothing ticks me off more than naked pasta. <laughs> naked people? Maybe. <laughs> naked pasta? No bueno. Okay, so we marry all of our sauce with all of our pasta. And now we're going to add that starchy, or in this case, corny, uh, cooking liquid. And we're going to add parmigiano reggiano. And we're going to add some mint and parsley. And we're going to add the juice of that lemon because now we're ready to turn our dish off. Boop. Squeeze it cut side up so you don't drop seeds into your pasta dish. Turn that off. Oh God, glorious. And the golden color between the corn pasta and the corn kernels and those golden tomatoes. I know, it's crazy.